Hi everyone, it's Alex here. Um, yesterday we removed the trees that we cut down. Today I'm gonna come back to you guys and I'm gonna show you guys um, about how why the trees, um, you know, if they were fall if they had fallen, um, it would they would have been touched they would have touched the house. So the tree removal was a uh, great success. Um, we did it without injuries. Um, had to help out, so I set my camera up um, to film the action while we removed the, removed the trees. Now, I, I will say this much, guys. If you're going to cut down a big tree, hire a professional. Because, you know, if you're, if you're going to remove, if you're going to cut down big trees, use extreme caution. Because uh, you could injure, you could definitely get severely injured or killed by big trees if you try to cut them down yourself. Uh, like I say, do not try to do this yourself because uh, cutting down trees does come with some, some risks, including some serious injuries or death. Uh, so we did it, we did it safely and uh, we got it all taken care of. Um, those are all the pieces of wood that we have cut up um with the chainsaw so anyway if if, if at any means um it's just best to hire a professional at any moment that you wanted to cut down trees but you can you can just you can easily get uh, cut down small trees yourself just don't do the big ones because you know um, serious injuries or death could occur if you do it. Um, now, like I mentioned last time in my last video, when my brother cut down trees, he wasn't using caution. He almost like almost injured himself. He almost could have been killed by a tree that, you know, was going to fall on the house. Thankfully, uh, he sand about like 40 feet away and the tree like fell on the ground. Now it was a it was a larger tree because you know it it, it, it just barely missed the house. Thank goodness. Um, but this tree over here also needs to be cut down. We need to cut that down. I think uh, this time I come back because it's it's gonna it's gonna fall over here in a bit. Um. It, it, it's already dead. It needs to be cut down and stuff like that. Um, so, like I said, um, I, I'm going to show you guys the trees that we, uh, they're not there anymore. But this is another tree that um, we're going to cut down sometime. It's already dead. You don't usually see trees without their leaves in the middle of summer. If you guys can see leaves, if you can see a tree without any leaves, that's a dead tree. Um, it's usually best to cut, just handle the small trees. I don't recommend handling like big trees because you need to get a professional to just uh, cut down the larger trees uh, for you. So um, this is some information about the, why you should use caution if you're cutting down medium to large size trees. Um, it, sometimes it's in, uh, unpredictable. Uh, where trees will fall um, if it's windy like it is today the trees will probably the big trees will probably land on you um, and injure you so if you are doing it on a day that it's not so not so windy uh, so um, you know if we're doing it on a day that it's not so windy we can handle it then, but even that, try to be careful when you remove the big, uh, big trees, guys. Um, if you enjoy this video, guys, um, please give it a like. Always uh, subscribe. I'll have more train videos resuming um, tomorrow when I go back to my school. Um, until then, guys, Stay tuned to the channel because I'll have a ton of train coverage coming within the next
months, with a few months. Um, I, I also have to mention that this is my uh, last year down in Jacksonville because um, I am now 21 years old and I am not going to be there anymore. So with that thing said guys, stay safe, enjoy the nice fall weather and I'll get you some more train videos. Um, anyways guys, thank you for watching and have a fantastic sunny day. Peace out.